I just got my hands on on the new Nokia 3210 and after 25 years I think after the original 3210 they have released a refreshed model. So you can see the specs here, you can pause it. Okay, let's check it out. So inside the box you get a phone. I got mine in a black version. So this is what it looks like. In the box you also get a bunch of manuals in different languages. Also a battery. And the battery is quite a big one. Uh, 1450 milliamp hours. So actually very chunky for Nokia phones. And also you get a Type-C charger like this. The output power however of the charger looks pathetic basically. It even has uh, not even one amp, half an amp. Uh, so charging power. So I guess to charge the phone very slowly. And we do get a Type-C charger, so that's pretty nice. So let's check out the phone itself. And the design actually is very nice of this phone and actually looks quite modern. So this is a black version. They all have, also have like this uh, yellow version here, also like a bluish one. However, I think this black one looks the best really. And it does look really nice indeed. So I really dig the design of it. And the buttons also feel fairly premium actually. So this is not a cheap phone. So you can definitely tell this is more premium dumb phone. And at the top you also get headphone jack here. And also camera here. And this uh, flashlight torch. And you can, at the bottom here it's made by HMD, makers of Nokia phones. And then also your Type-C charger port here basically. And to open it up and insert the battery, you have to basically uh, insert your finger here where the charger port is and simply pray it open. So you can see that this has got two SIM cards. You can insert SIM card one here and you can insert the SIM card number two here. Also you can insert your micro SD card here as well. So either you can use two SIM cards at the same time or one SIM card and also micro SD memory card. And mine is made in China. Okay, insert the battery, and then also let's slide in the SIM card. So this does use nano SIM cards. And the way you insert it simply, you have to slide it inside. So make sure this is at the top here, and slide it inside, and make sure it's pretty much all the way to the back basically. Okay, let's close it, and make sure it snaps everywhere and all the gaps are closed. Then turned on, you can press this, like this button basically, this bottom, and hold it for some time. Okay, let's see how it turns on. Do get an OK tone. And I already played around with this phone a bit. So at the first it asked for some setup stuff. So, but this is what it looks like. You do get fairly large screen here. And the screen quality actually is pretty good when you compare to the much cheaper Nokia down phone. You can see that the screen quality and the colors are definitely a bit better. Uh, by the way, this is not the cheapest uh, Nokia, but like a mid-range Nokia. So the cheaper ones have terrible screens, but this one probably has one of the best screens that these dumb phones have actually. Okay, let's check out all the features of it. So you got your uh, call log here your contacts uh, gallery, where you can see your uh, pictures and videos you have taken. Then also a camera. So you can actually take pictures with this camera. And the camera quality actually is, uh, I think for uh, for these dumb phones, it's, yeah, it's one of the best. Of course, it's nothing like a smartphone camera. Uh, however, I think it's pretty good. Also, you can record videos here as well. Okay, so pretty cool actually. Then you got your SMS messages here, uh, internet browser, so you get Opera Mini here. So uh, it's kind of pathetic browser really, but uh, you can check some news maybe, and it's very, very slow. So don't expect that you will be using internet on this phone. So failed connect for some reason. Then also you got like a Facebook page here, 
which you can open as well and it uses the same Opera Mini browser and it's <laughs> absolutely terrible to use. Then you got your snake game. Okay. And then you also got your radio. The radio actually is pretty good. I can't really play back any music because uh, yeah, YouTube doesn't like that. So uh, actually it can play back without uh, headphones. So you don't even need to use headphones, but you can still insert some headphones and get better reception. Also the speaker on this uh, phone, actually I already listened to some radio and it's actually very, very loud and actually very good and actually much better than on other Nokia down phones. So actually I was very surprised with the speaker quality of this one. Of course, again, it's not in the same level as a smartphone speaker, but it's still pretty good. Okay, next we also get uh, some music basically and you can basically insert your memory card and upload some music tracks to that. Your alarms here, uh, the videos I recently, so you can check your videos you have recorded, then also the various settings, in. so let me quickly grow go through through some of them so you can see what's inside and also change your language here but as uh, this language will really depend on the region where you actually purchase this phone so yeah so you got 11 megabytes of internal storage in this phone so that's completely pathetic really they should have included more storage is very cheap nowadays so, then you also got your duals, time zones, work clocks, your timers, unicorn version, calculator, and the calculator actually is pretty cool on this one. At least I really like the design of it, and it's actually very fast to use. Yeah, pretty nice calculator. Okay, um, what else did we had? Uh, calendar, a torch, so it does have a torch. I'm not sure how bright it is. Yeah, probably less bright than a smartphone indeed. They don't have the best torches. Um, also a voice recorder, I think. Okay, um, then also we got a bunch of uh, games here as well. This racing attack, let's check it out. And you uh, can only play it three times before you have to purchase. Okay, so a basic game. I really don't know why uh, Nokia is asking uh, money for these games because they are so low end games and <laughs> it's quite pathetic really that they are asking to pay for this, this stuff. By the way, if you want to like play them pretty much unlimited amount of times, then you can simply uh, factory reset your phone uh, after those three times. So it will reset basically that from what I have found. So I also I got those blackjack, uh, doodle jump, football, cross zero, arrow master, ninja, and airstrike. Also another cool uh, thing I actually saw about this phone. If you actually you can also arrange the uh, like locations of these icons. So you can click this and click move, and as you can see, you can move this somewhere here basically. So you can basically customize. So whatever you need and prefer actually at the top and like remove all the junk at the bottom. So for example on all the other Nokia phones you can't do that and this is a very good feature on this phone actually. Then also this phone has got like these quick shortcuts. For example you can press and hold this upper button and it will turn on the flashlight. So you see it turns on, you don't have to go anywhere. So very useful actually. Also you can press this to quickly launch the camera. So, also this to quickly launch some uh, settings here. So, quick settings, you launch the radio very quickly. So, yeah, these are very nice. If you press your lower button, you can quickly basically uh, browse through the various contacts and quickly call someone. So, actually, yeah, it's a very fast and very, like, uh, effective phone to use, actually. Okay, one thing that I don't really like, the screen isn't really the brightest. Uh, so when you are uh, in sunny day, outdoors, but you are still in shadow, you can still pretty much see some stuff 
but if you go into sun basically yeah you can still maybe see something and kind of use it but it will be more troublesome basically so not the best but I absolutely love the uh, compact design of this uh, phone, basically, and also it feels extremely nice in the hand. So it's not 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 like super large phone, but also it has got very good uh, large display. You can see everything very well, and it just feels extremely nice in hand. So honestly, other Nokia phones don't, do not feel just as nice as this one. And yeah, obviously, this is such an upgrade over the original Nokia 3210 that was released like 25 years ago. And yeah, the build quality is just like worlds apart, obviously. I mean, it's not obviously the most premium premium phone. You can see it's made of uh, like average plastic and it's probably not waterproof. Yeah, don't like put this in water at all, but uh, I think it will be fairly durable actually. Let's talk about some of the negatives of this uh, phone, however. First, I think it's uh, highly, highly overpriced actually for the uh, features and stuff you actually get on this phone. Because uh, when the original Nokia 3210 was released, it was like, like a complete flagship phone back in the day. So, yeah, it might sound funny, but it was a very, very good phone actually back then. However, this is nothing like that. So this phone costs uh, 80 euros for this one, almost like that. And really all the functions are pretty much identical to that of the much cheaper Nokia phones that you can purchase for like uh, $30 or some even for much less. And that's completely ridiculous. I think they're really milking this name here. And um, yeah, I think that's the case really because they are really skimping on the features that a modern a phone or in 2024 should include, such as WhatsApp, for example. It does not have WhatsApp and that's completely retarded, really. Also, it uh, does not have email access uh, and such as email app, basically. So again, that's completely crazy. Why Nokia isn't including this stuff? I don't really know. So uh, they're really lagging behind and I think if they continue at this pace, they, this HMD brand will go bankrupt as well, just as Nokia did, because they're literally not innovating and actually putting in the features that people are asking them. Literally, I see so many people asking for WhatsApp and emails on this phone, but they still don't include. Uh, previously, they included some very, very like complete garbage of WhatsApp version, but they removed it here uh, from these phones completely. So yeah, Nokia, I mean H and D, they will go bust if they continue making phones like this with features that that are basically lacking the basic features that people in 2024 need. And those features I'm talking about aren't even like a smartphone features. Like nowadays, pretty much uh, anyone uses WhatsApp uh, to text and call someone. It's not like a smartphone feature, so it really needs to be in these fonts. And also email, that's not a very complicated feature to add. Still, they don't add it completely crazy. Also, if you are in Europe, for example, you do not get this uh, like a basic app store that they do have now. Anyway, it's not very good. It's complete garbage anyway, but people in like uh, Asia or maybe like in India, for example, do get that. In Europe, you do not get that. Also, this phone is not available in USA at the moment, I think. So I'm not sure if it will be released in States and in Canada. So it's really for like Asia and uh, like uh, Europe basically at the moment. So yeah, overall, if this phone actually had the features needed for 2024, the basic features, it would be absolutely great phone. However, at the moment for this price, I can't recommend this phone and you should really just get one of the cheaper phones if you want a basic, a good uh, down phone. And they basically have the same stuff and the same quality. Anyway, if this was helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. See you.